The Middle East is not well known for its global business practices. But the United Arab Emirates, or UAE, is not your average Middle Eastern country. The United Arab Emirates is an example of a place that has 80% foreign workers that come from all over the world who unite here with a 20% Emirati population to really develop this country in some very exciting ways. For three weeks this summer, a group from Drew took part in a Drew International seminar in the UAE. The seminar focused on global business and how that is playing a role in the fast development of the country, specifically its two largest cities, Dubai and Abu Dhabi. It would be a, a great crossroad to teach students about global business, but also to teach them about the changes that are taking place with the cultural changes within society and the cultural nuances that take place as societies evolve. Now it wasn't too long ago that Dubai was a desert town with not much development. But in the last decade, the city has undergone a rapid transformation. In the States, and you hear on the news about the real estate developments and the world's largest building and the world's largest mall. Will Brackett is a senior at Drew and says studying the development of Dubai was very interesting, especially considering the current economy. We actually focused a lot on was how the economic crisis has affected all of that and um, why many of the buildings that were in the process of being built have just halted completely. Many of the students say the experience changed their opinions of the Middle East. It's like New York City or something, you know. There's um, a lot of foreigners, you can speak English, you can get like any kind of food you want. It's really not any like stereotypical Middle Eastern country. And while they say they never imagined visiting a Middle Eastern country, now that they have, they say they can't wait to go back. I talk about it all the time with my friends and so they have to like stop me from talking too much. For Drew University, I'm Ted Johnson.